everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am so happy to bring you this video. Um, this is the fifth one in the series for this Daisy Garden background stamp set. It's an amazing stamp set, and I hope that you will enjoy watching me make this fun fold card. So I'm so excited to bring it to you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you. Um, it's a faux step card. You can see how it stands up. It has this really cool little step on it. And the sentiment is on the back. I chose to make this one into a Mother's Day card. So it says, Happy Mom Day. And on the back, it says, All Day Your Way, which is how it should be for moms, right? We should have at least one day that everything goes our way. <laughs> So hopefully your Mother's Day will be awesome. So I'm using the Daisy um, Garden background stamp set and I have chosen to use it as the focal for all of my cards this week. So check out the projects. I haven't used it as a background stamp. Um, I'm pairing it with the Tasteful Touches, um, <clears throat> Tasteful Label, sorry, um, dies and they're amazing. They are retiring. So you only have till May 2nd of 2022 to grab those. So definitely check them out. If you don't own them, the link is in the description below and you can get those from my online store through May 2nd. Um, um, the sentiments are right here, this one and this one out of the Happy and Heartfelt. This is out of our mini catalog that is good until June 30th of 2022. And of course, the Daisy Garden stamp set, which is in our main catalog, it'll be good until the following May of 2023. So definitely check this out. It's an awesome, awesome stamp. We are going to use our blends today to color in our main part of our card. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how to make this really fun card. So I call this a faux step card. It is a fun fold and it's really a fun card to make. Just like the name sets. I'm going to go ahead and stand it up and put it off here in the corner. Hopefully you guys can still see that. All right, we're gonna start with a piece of five and a half by eight and a half inch cardstock. And we are going to score this piece. There is also another piece of cardstock that we also have to score. And this one is two and seven eighths by five and a half inches. Both of those are Sahara sand. And I'm gonna use my Simply Scoreboard because that is my favorite way to score. So we're gonna start with the five and a half by eight and a half inch piece. So I'm going to put it with the eight and a half inch piece so the long side is always across the top. We're going to start at three and one quarter inches and I'm going to score at three and a quarter and then we're going to score at six and a half and at seven and a half. So three and a quarter, six and a half and seven and a half. Now this piece here which is the two and seven eighths by five and a half also Sahara sand the long side is also against the top and we're going to score it at the one and a half inch and that's all the scoring on that piece so these are our two pieces if you don't have a simply scoreboard definitely get yourself one because it's amazing you have to have a really cool scoring tool so we're going to use our bone folder we're going to use a piece here and we're just gonna give it a nice little score and then we're also gonna score our pieces here. And I like to set my card up how it's supposed to sit. So we're gonna burnish on both sides, make sure we have a nice score mark. And this is how our card is gonna sit. Now, we're gonna do a little stamping. We've also used some really awesome designer series paper that's in the January to June 2022 mini catalog. And this paper is good until June 30th. So you have plenty of time to grab that if you are watching me in 2022 <laughs> in May, which is when, I mean, I'm sorry, in April, which is when I have um, put this project out. So it's actually the 29th of April, so you still have all of May and all of June to purchase this awesome paper if you're watching it pretty close to when I put the published the video. So I'm going to give you some measurements now. I have done some double layers, so I've added a layer of cardstock and then some designer series paper on all these little elements, except for this one. The main area takes the place of the DSP. 
So let's go ahead and get started. I used a scrap of pale papaya to cut this circle, which is out of the Tasteful Labels dies. And then I stamped the Happy Mom Day on there. This piece in the back is also a standalone. So let me give you the dimensions. So for this back panel, we're gonna use a piece of three and an eighth by five and three eighths of pale papaya cardstock. And the designer series paper that goes over the top is three inches by five and a quarter. For this small strip on the front, the cardstock of pale papaya is seven eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch long. And the piece of designer series paper is three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. So those are my two layers. Now for this piece that we're gonna attach onto this piece that we scored, we have a piece of pale papaya that is two and three quarters by three and seven eighths. And the piece of very vanilla that I'm gonna use to stamp today is a piece of two and five eighths by three and three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp our image onto that piece. And we're gonna do that right now. So let me move the card out of the way. I just wanted to get some dimensions out there to you. Have some pieces about my desk area. So we're gonna take this piece of designer, I mean of a very vanilla cardstock, and I've marked already on my paper here where it's gonna go, but you're gonna figure out what part of the stamp you want to show. And this is the section that I chose to show. We're gonna ink it up with our um, Tuxedo Memento black ink pad. And so I'm gonna rub it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and ink it. I'm gonna, this is my Stamparatus tool, by the way. We're gonna press this into place and we're just gonna run our fist over the top. You can also press your flowers with your thumb and make sure that you get nice images. But we're just gonna run our hand, the ball of our palm, and then we're gonna very carefully lift up and make sure that we have coverage. I need a little bit more on this side and maybe right in that corner, so I'm gonna Stick my thumbs down, press down. And let's see if it's better now. And it is. I love this Stamparatus. So this is our piece. I'm gonna put my scrap paper in here. I'll clean this later and move this out of the way. Okay, so this is the piece that we're gonna color and we're gonna use our Stampin' Blends to do so. So for the center of the flower, I've chosen to use Cinnamon Cider and it is the light cinnamon cider. And so basically all you're gonna do is color your centers, okay? You have a little bit of one right here in this corner. Now for the daisies, I've chosen to use pale papaya because it matches the color of the um, DSP and the cardstock that we're using. And I started with the dark and I just worked my way around the center of my daisy with the dark pale papaya, just depositing a nice ring of color around all of those daisies. Okay, and then I came back in with the light and then I pulled that color to the edges. And you can use either the brush tip or the bullet tip, whatever works for you, but you're gonna work your way around filling those colors in. Now for the leaves, I chose to use the dark soft succulent and I outlined all the veining on the leaves, okay? And also down the stems. And then I came in with my light soft succulent and I blended it all together. And I went back over my stems and finished coloring those in. So that is how I went about coloring my background piece. And when you're finished coloring, this is what you'll have. Isn't that so pretty? I think it really looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and start attaching all of our layers together. So this is the piece that's gonna go here, but we need to have our piece of pale papaya. So we'll go ahead and attach that. I'm gonna use my liquid glue. 
And generally when I use liquid glue, I use my silicone mat. I need to pull that out because I don't want to make a mess. And I'm very good at making a mess. So let's go ahead and press that into place. I like using the wet glue because you get that little wiggle room. You can slide it around a little before it actually sets. And this piece is going to get attached right here. So let's go ahead and do that onto our base. If you need the dimensions, you can rewind the video and go back to the beginning. I did give you the dimensions of all of these layers. So let's go ahead and attach this piece onto our So Saffron. Isn't that so pretty? It's such a good combination, I think. All right, so I'm just gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna attach our layers onto here. So we're gonna start first with our large piece of pale papaya and our designer series paper. And you can see the back of our DSP has this really cool diagonal wood. I love this designer series paper. I think it's so beautiful. All right, let's pick that up. We're gonna attach that onto our pale papaya. When I'm happy, I'm gonna press that into place. And then we're gonna attach this onto our card base. Let's bring our card up. I'm gonna open this up. This is gonna fit right here in this section of our card. And make sure that all my sides are even and I'm gonna press that into place. Now we're gonna do this piece right here. So let's grab those two pieces. Again, we're going to use our designer series paper and attach our wet adhesive to the back. I'm going to put that onto my piece of pale papaya, leaving a nice little border all the way around. That looks pretty awesome. Wiggle it into place till it's set. And now we're going to attach that onto that front panel. This is such a cool card, this faux step card. No cutting of the steps and it really looks awesome. So here is our piece of our front. So now let's set it up. So this is our folded part. Okay, so now we're going to attach our this piece to the front. We're going to leave a little edge so you can see I have plenty of room here. I'm going to put some adhesive. I'm going to attach this piece first. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close my card tight. I'm going to leave the room that I need on the right hand side and make a, a little bit more I think. I'm going to move that over just slightly and then I'm going to open and make sure that this edge is against this edge and that it's in place. Wipe off any glue that got onto my hands. I don't want it to overhang so that's why I opened that to make sure that it's in place and it is. And now we're going to glue this port part in place and we're going to lay it flat and then we're going to glue that part down. So let's get our extra glue off our silicone mat. I'm gonna lift this flap and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue. And I'm gonna fold this over. And we're gonna just hold that for a second. Perfect. Now, we have another piece of pale papaya and I'm not sure I mentioned it, but it is a piece that is um, three and an eighth by five and three eighths. And it is an extra piece that we're gonna use for this back panel. And it's gonna cover this section here so that you won't see it. And it'll just look like one continuous piece of cardstock. Isn't that neat? But before we do that, we're gonna stamp on that. And we're gonna use the stamp that says all day your way. So I'm gonna ink that into my early espresso ink pad. And I'm just going to stamp that in the center of that piece of cardstock. We'll flip that over and add some wet adhesive. I 
want to make sure that, especially in the corners here, that we have adhesive because I want it to be stuck down really nicely. And so we're going to go ahead and bring this in. And then this is going to cover that piece and make it look like it's one continuous piece that you cut your cardstock a special way and you haven't. You've used those two layers, which, which is the trick, right? So there's the back. Isn't that awesome of our card? Now we're going to do the front. So this is what we have so far. We have to tie our ribbon. So we're going to grab our piece of um, ribbon, and I believe, hmm, I don't remember how much I used. Let me grab my ruler. I think it is 12 inches. Let's see. So, yeah, 12 inches of ribbon. We're going to bring it through this little opening right here, behind the back here. And we're going to tie it in the front. I'm going to close my card. So I'm going to pull it right in the center. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to tie another knot right over the top. So I'll put that through, my ribbon through. Come on, work with me, guys. Work with me. I'm on video. <laughs> How come every time you're on camera, you can never tie a bow? I'm telling you. There we go. So now I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna hold it still with my fingertip. And I'm gonna slowly pull. And I want this knot to be tight, but not super tight. I want it to have kind of a fat, flat look to it, just like that. We're gonna trim the edges off. I have my ribbon scissor here. So I'm gonna bring that in and we're gonna trim the edges like that and that turn out awesome and I'm gonna just get try and get them to behave sometimes they don't want to behave so you just kind of have to get them to listen to you and uh, do what you want right all right so there we go there's our ribbon let's get rid of these extra pieces now we're gonna do our circle so this is our circle piece and it's gonna be attached right on here it's gonna say happy mom day so let me get my scissors out of the way. Put them back in my drawer here next to me. We are going to get this ink pad. We are going to use our espresso, but let's let me show you how we are going to go about stamping it. Now, this stamp is a long stamp and I want it to fit into a circle. So in order for that to happen, what I need to do is I need to mask the stamp. And I'm going to show you what that means. I'm going to move my card out of the way for right now. And I don't even need this map here. But we're going to stamp it onto the circle piece. I'm actually going to bring it down kind of low on the camera so I can see what I'm doing. So the happy is going to go on top and then mom day is going to be next. So what I want to do is I want to use a piece of tape. And I want to kind of cover up the word happy. So I'm just going to bring this tape into, into place here. And I'm going to just stick it over the top of the word happy, making sure that the stamp is completely covered. Okay, so now only mom day is showing. So I'm going to open my ink pad and I'm going to ink up the stamp with the tape on it. See how it covered that? Now I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to discard that. I don't want that ink, that blot of ink on here. And I'm going to stamp my word mom day onto my circle like so. So there's my mom day. Now I'm going to clean my stamp. And we're going to do the same thing, only this time we're going to put a piece of tape over the word mom day and we are going to stamp the word happy. So you just have to let it dry a little bit once you've done that. Just make sure that the tape will stick. We're gonna cover the word mom day and we want the word happy to show. So I'm just gonna put my tape over the word mom day and I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up. And this time I want the word happy. So I'm gonna pull the tape off and I'm just gonna set it down for a second. I'm gonna discard my tape. 
on into my trash can trying not to get ink all over my fingers because you know it is possible that I will make a mess if it's possible to make one um, I'm pretty good at making it so I'm just gonna try and make sure I don't get that um, espresso ink all over my hands but anyway I'm gonna now stamp just the word happy I'm gonna bring it down again so I can see what I'm doing and I'm gonna stamp that word happy right here above mom day and there it is we have happy mom day now I did put a little bit more towards the bottom because my last card that I made I decided to put some iridescent rhinestones we're going to do that again today and when I did it I didn't really have enough room for that rhinestone to kind of look like it was meant to go there so this time I wanted to make sure that I left room for my rhinestone so since that was my designing card it's always you know a, a shoot out you just try and figure out what you're gonna do I'm gonna add some wet adhesive just to this section here of my circle because it's the part that's gonna get glued down so I'm gonna put that right here happy mom day hold that in place grab my silicone mat get that out of camera I'm gonna stand up my card this little um, ribbon doesn't want to behave itself okay so there's my happy mom day. Now comes the fun part, the iridescent rhinestones. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those out. We're gonna use one large, one medium, and one small. So I'm gonna start the large one. I'm gonna put in this bottom open space here. I'm gonna add the medium in this open space right here. And now that I've left room for it, I'm gonna put my small one up here and it's gonna look like it was meant to be here because it's not just squoze in above that happy mom day. What do you guys think? So there is our card standing up. I'm gonna put one up and one laying flat so you guys can see it. So we'll put this one flat and this one will be standing up. We've used the daisy garden. We have used happy and heartfelt we have used the tasteful labels dies i'm going to put that underneath our card here so those are the products we've used today i hope that you have really enjoyed this card i think it's an amazing card really fun to put together i hope that i've showed you lots of ways to use this daisy garden background definitely check out my other four videos in the series there's five and i will have a playlist if you want to watch all of them um, you can share this video to your pinterest by clicking the share bu button and choosing pinterest or put it on facebook um, share it with your friends whatever you'd like to do um, i would be very grateful for you to share my video um, but definitely if you would like to make it it's a great way to do it by saving it to pinterest um, if you don't mind giving me some thumbs up comment let me know what you think and definitely check out my blog inkyhandswarmhearts.com i will link it in the description below also all the products that i use will be linked as well in the description below so check those out and if you need a demonstrator i would love to be your demonstrator let me know and i would be happy to help you place your first order thanks again for watching um and i'm so grateful to have you on my channel this is kelly with inky hands more hearts happy stamping